A medical service we've come to count on to get us help fast is asking for help. A loss of grant money and a growing number of underinsured patients are putting a strain on Mercy Flight. Tina Shively today got a bird's eye view of what's going on. Mercy Flight Western has transported patients to and from area hospitals since 1981. I got a look at just how rural their territory can be and therefore how important their service is. Mercy Flight Western has three bases across Western New York and covers eight counties. They average about one flight a day. After a few minutes in the air on this training flight, an emergency call came in. Phone rings and uh, you go into uh, a different mode than what we were in five minutes ago. It was back to the airport where our crew was quickly replaced by a medic and a field nurse. The team left their Batavia base for a 12-minute flight to Eastern Niagara Hospital in Newfane. They then took the patient to Strong Hospital in Rochester. Altogether, the flight took about 40 minutes. By ambulance, the trip between hospitals alone would have taken about three times as long. The speedy response is so crucial to saving a patient that Mercy Flight will not refuse treatment or transfer to anyone. They maybe don't have the, the ability to make that payment for the bill, um, so we forgive that those charges. Last fiscal year alone, the not-for-profit forgave over $700,000 patients couldn't pay for. Mercy Flight does get some grant money from the counties it serves, but in recent years that money has dwindled. Their latest fundraiser, called Sponsor a Mission, asks donors to collect $842. That's the average cost of an uninsured or underinsured flight. So far, several dozen missions have been sponsored, but Mercy Flight says with the ever-increasing cost of fuel and health care, donors are also crucial. In Batavia, Tina Shively, News 8.